If you would have told me I, I would be married and my wife would leave me, I would have never believed you. Yvette <laughs> and I, right, there was no limit. Like, it just became, I will, and dot, dot, dot. My wife, amazing, right? I didn't know she was going through what she was going through, right? But she said, I'm not doing well. And she said, um, I have to leave. What? And I, if you would have told me I, I would be married and my wife would leave me, I would have never believed you, right? Um, but she had to leave and go away for like a solitude, like a silent retreat mm -hmm. and experience God in a way that she was not experiencing. What? And left me with four kids and a business and the fresh death of my sister and the death of my cousin right during the midst of that. Um, and a part of me that felt abandoned um, and was like angry because I was like, why am I feeling all of this alone? <sighs> this is all I got. <laughs> I realized that through, through counsel was that my wife had been operating at 40%, right? And I needed my wife at 100. For every man, there's a woman. And for every dummy, there's a dummy. <laughs> See, this is why before you get married as a man, take your time to get to know the woman that you choose to marry. Take your time. This pretty much sounds like a woman who got tired of pretending. She wasn't happy in this relationship. She probably wanted to get married. She probably wanted a family, but not with him. And a lot of times with women, they reach a point in their life where they be so desperate to get married that they will marry any dude who is willing to marry them. Only to realize that I really don't want this dude. And it's just sad the way that she abandoned him and the kids in the midst while he was mourning his sister that understand something fellas when a woman is not getting what she wants when she's not happy in a situation she will walk away in a very cold-blooded way facts so as a man you have to be extremely careful when it comes to selecting a wife you have to make sure that that woman is really into you and not into the concept of oh i want to get married oh i want a husband how do she feel about you and this is why marriage don't have any benefit for men sad situation man this is just crazy <laughs> dating apps weren't as popular as they are now like you know everybody uses them or whatever and you know it was just kind of a mistake like me like meeting him but anyways like I think he never really wanted to date me you know what I mean like he came from this like you know Jewish family they wanted to like have this Jewish girl you know her to do the prayers and all that stuff and you know I I was not that girl I'm here to tell you right now we don't care. Let me tell, all right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. So I think deep down. So yeah, I, I I cheated on him, and this all happened like when I was living in New York City. So pretty much like we got to a point where we were just like, okay, we really don't get along. Like we we have a lot of things in common, but like we don't really get along, and like our futures are just you know not going in the same direction. Like, whenever we would try to do, like, a big life plan, life change, like, you know, the universe was just, like, canceling those plans. Like, nothing was working out. Like, it was, like, basically the universe saying, like, you guys are not good for each other. Just, just stop everything right now. And he was also cheating on me, too. Like, he, <laughs> he um, was still using Tinder while we were together. And I found out when, like, we were, like, literally just watching Netflix one day. And I, and I see, like, an email pop up from, like, tinder and then like this like jewish dating app and i was just like oh it was called j swipe that's what it was called and i was like wait what the fuck you're still on dating apps and then you know our relationship just went further downhill from there so we took a break because things were just not working out and we were not aligned and when we took this break i decided to date a lot of different guys in new york city 
It's over for you thoughts. It's over. It, it, it ain't that time. It's over for y'all. The, the other thoughts made it bad for you. Um, I lived in Chelsea in New York, which is like right where the Google campus is. So I was dating all these like Google engineers. It was so, so fun. Like Google has this like underground bar um, in their one of their buildings. And it was so fun. Like we saw all these Google people and like it, the vibe was just like very like techie and like kind of cool. And I don't know. The guys were like really cool, too. They were always like taking me out to like nice drink spots and like brunch places. Um and then, yeah, what ended up happening was, like, me and my ex-boyfriend ended up breaking up because we really just didn't like each other. Like, we were not in love. Like, I kind of hated being around him, too, because he was just not very independent, and I'm, like, a very, like, independent, like, I'm just going to do my own thing kind of person. But, um, yeah, maybe I should do a part two of this because I am running out of time. But, yeah, that's the story of how, you know, I shit on my boyfriend. <laughs> but it was it was mutual on both sides, so I guess it doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> Jesus can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? Look, the worst thing a man could do is wife up a chick that he met on a dating app. Fellas, on those apps is only hoes. Chicks who want to fuck multiple dudes. Facts. These chicks smash a different dude every week. After a while, it becomes addicted to them. After a while, that's all they know. Those type of broads can't go back into being in a committed situation for too long. They're going to get that itch to hop right back in an app and be a thot. So the worst thing you could do is try to save a woman like like that no my whole thing like i tell you guys all the time you're not gonna find any quality women on dating apps okay now i get it like some of y'all dudes just trying to smash all right that's cool you could mess with the app if you're just trying to smash and dash that's cool but do not get on the app and think you're gonna find a quality woman something is gonna be wrong with her trust me dating apps are like junkyards if you're trying to get a car you're not gonna go for a junkyard bro if you get a car from the junkyard something is gonna be wrong with it some no matter how good it looks that's the type of woman you're gonna find on those dating apps bro trust me if she look good as fuck something is wrong with her facts it is what it is man fellas keep away from those dating apps the only type of chicks on there is thoughts this is not surprising and again, do a background check on these chicks, bro. It is what it is. So this guy DM'd me. He said, hey, bro, I was trying to see if you could do a loyalty test on my girl. I'm thinking about proposing to her soon. A lot of guys are claiming they're about to propose, so I decided to do more investigating. I said, how long have y'all been dating? He said, it's been about two years, but I play pro ball overseas, so our relationship is a lot of long distance. I said, all right, I got you. What's her at? He gave it to me. I got to work. Her account was public, and when I followed her, she had a picture on her story. I swiped up on her picture and used one of my go-to lines. We should get ice cream. She said, my fave, come on. I said, where are you from? I'll be there tonight. She said, I live in San Diego. What about you? I said, yeah, never mind. I'm from VA. She laughed and said, reschedule? I said, yeah, I'm actually going to Cali soon. What's your number? We should keep in touch. And she gave me her number. It was time to show her boyfriend the messages. I sent him the DMs and said, should I keep going? He said, nope, I've seen all I need to see. I said, what are you going to say to her? And he left me on scene. I'm interested to see what the boyfriend ends up saying to her. So if he ever responds, I will let y'all know. However, his girlfriend definitely failed the test. She gave me her number and she never mentioned she had a boyfriend. It looks like we found another one for the streets. Y'all stay safe out there. Save that man. This man was about to marry a straight bird. You see how it was easy to take this dude bird? Ice cream. That's it. See, this is why you gotta treat a bird like a bird, man. Fellas, if you overseas and you trying to do a long distance relationship, stop it, bro. What you doing? Stop it. Your girl is somewhere having fun. Real fun. And shorty's probably looking at dude like, ah, well, he got potential to make it in the league. So I'm going to play the role. So she's going to fake stick around. But it's just crazy that this dude was about to marry her. So loyalty test saved that man. Fellas, this is why as a man, you have to pay attention to your girl. You have to observe your girl. And you have to take your time, bro. Take your time. You have to figure your girl out before you even commit to her. Like you gotta know her. Crazy, man. This is crazy right here. Hey, guys. I'm at my ex's second house. I'm waiting for us to go out to dinner, but I've been inspired to do a story time about the time that my 
boyfriend caught me cheating on him and honestly it's my own fault that i got caught this story i remember the details i'm so stupid okay so If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.